again, I'm Dr. Wilkos, and I want to talk to you for just a few minutes this morning about um, implementing Common Ground into an assertive community treatment team study. I work for Northwestern Human Services, and my talk this morning will revolve around several questions. Uh, number one, how does Common Ground work for me and the people I work with? Number two, how do I manage my time implementing Common Ground? Because I know that's a lot of concern for particularly psychiatrists who have maybe 15 minutes uh, to spend with their, with, with, with their people. Number three, how do we blend our electronic medical record with the Common Ground program? Four and five, how does my team as well as the organization support my use of Common Ground? Six, the role of peer staff and how they can help and contribute. And seven, uh, what are the challenges that we faced um, using Common Ground? So the first question, how does Common Ground work for me? Um, I learned tremendously when I look at, and the first thing I do when someone walks into my office is pull up their Common Ground report. And I learn an enormous amount from their personal medicine, through their power statements. Um, I had um, a woman who's 72, I could not get anything. I would ask and ask and ask, she's fine, there's nothing wrong, she doesn't know why she needs to take this medicine, but she'll take it anyway. Well, I learned from her personal medicine that she liked to quilt. I never knew this about her, she never told me this, but I read it <laughs> in her Common Ground report. So that launched a discussion for us. And I we talk, every time she comes, we talk about her quilting. She brings in her quilting. She gave me a quilt. So we've become good friends. And I think had it not been for this report, that wouldn't have happened. Um, I learned their symptoms. You know, what is bothering them? Are they more depressed? Maybe they have too much energy. Maybe they're not sleeping well. All of these things I can look, look at the report and learn. I learn about their motivation. Are they motivated to take their medicine? And if not, why not? Um, is the motivation coming from someone else rather than them? Do they have any concerns, maybe religious beliefs? They're afraid they could become addicted to their medication. Um, I like Common Ground because very often um, they will ask me, what are the side effects? Well, I'll, I'll give you a printout of the side effects. I can tell you all of the side effects. And it's, it's good, useful information for them. There's also an entire library of worksheets, which I use all the time, uh, on mood diaries. You know, how to, how to make good decisions, how to manage my anxiety. And together, when I review their report and discuss with them what's in their report, um, we formulate a shared decision, which I, which I find to be critical in involving them in their care. So that's some of the, some of the things Common Ground uh, helps me with. How does Common Ground work for the people I serve? Well, I have found consistently that uh, many people are more honest with the computer than they are when they talk to me. Uh, I, it, it, it's, it's amazing how much you know, they will tell to the computer screen that they've just, you know, they're just reluctant to tell me maybe they're unwilling or not really able to. Um, I liked when they look at the patient recovery videos because I find these are very inspiring. And I think, you know, everybody needs help. Everybody in this room at some time in their life needed help. And so even I can look through these and think this is wonderful. This is an inspiring story. Uh, tips on recovery, whether it's pet therapy or <clears throat> anything that they need, you know, to help them recover and, and their password recovery. I like that to help them track their progress because I think looking at the graphs, if they're looking at their mood from month to month to month, they can look back maybe over the holidays when there's a dip. And they can actually see this right in front of them on the graph. Well, you know, see, I think maybe the holidays had them depressed. Um, solutions. They can read about solutions to their problems in the library. And most importantly, I think Common Ground helps them feel empowered um, in, through participating in the decision-making progress. 
process. I've had some resistance uh, with, with some of the people I work with, and, and they'll tell me, but you're the doctor. And I will respond with, but you're the one with the disorder, and this is your care, and this is your recovery, and I need your help. Because I can't do it, I'm not a mind reader. But in, in, in the, and they resist this. But, but I think doing common ground and working with common ground, it makes it easier for them. Well, gee, yeah, you know, maybe I would like this medication or or maybe I would like to go out and, and exercise, try that before we change my medication. Um, how do I manage my time with common ground? And this is, this is important because um, you know, I think a lot of people are worried. I have so much to do. I have so little time. How am I going to get this going? The report is usually done by staff or by the person before the appointment. So they come in with a report in hand. I'm already looking at it on my computer. So rather than doing a traditional interview, I look at their report. That's the first thing I do. I can see whether they're taking their medication, I can see how well they're doing, how well they're doing in their mental health recovery. We discuss, because of the report, we can discuss any problems that they have, because I see it right there in front of me, and together we, we arrive at a shared decision. If they were feeling, maybe they had less energy, I don't know why I'm having this less energy, well let's talk about it. What can we do to help you Feel more energetic, energetic, so that you can take care of your children, and that could be any number of things. And, and what I found is that a common ground report and a shared decision can be done in whatever time that's allotted, whether it's a half an hour or 15 minutes. It can be done. Uh, marriage of common ground in the electronic medical record. This, this is what we uh, really I think we're still struggling with. Uh, NHS recently uh, implemented Avatar, and it's been a struggle just with any electronic medical record, getting, getting used to this, working out the bugs and the flaws. The tablets that we were using uh, with the electronic medical record initially prohibited accessing common ground. Nobody wanted to carry around with but we, we got air cards, we've enabled them, and we just recently have done that. So I think we can do more easily common ground reports on the tablets, but I think common ground has to become an integral part of the electronic medical record, and so far it's not. And so we, we can do a common ground, but then we have to log in the avatar, and the two aren't connected, and I think that's we have to do that. To be, to, for common ground to be truly effective. <clears throat> the team support for the use of common ground, the team is absolutely indispensable. It could be nurses, it could be mental health therapists, peer support specialists. They try and do the reports 48 hours before the appointment. And the, the people that I work with, I find are more comfortable with a computer doing it by themselves or if they need some help working with a team member rather than me. So the team helps to support, make my time using Common Ground more valuable because I look at the report, I can focus on the report and the <coughs> How does NHS support my use of Common Ground? <clears throat> I think that administrative support makes Common Ground possible. Without it, it would not be possible. We are very lucky in NHS we have a county director, Kim Sonnenfeld, who has embraced this wholeheartedly since the beginning, since the inception. Um, she has provided important moral support, important encouragement. I think using common ground takes time, effort, commitment, and conviction. And without support from the administration, you know, people are just they're not going to do it. Um, Administration can also give organizational input, arranging uh, meetings, you know, accessing um, IT support, and also financial arrangements. You know, computers, air cards, they're expensive. So I think administration is um, <clears throat> instrumental. The role of peer support staff. Um, 
peer support specialists uh, share unique relationships uh, with the people we serve. They know what mental illness is. They know what recovery is. They can demonstrate what's possible. They're working. They have jobs. They have children. They have families. This is a goal of many people with mental health disorders. And they see it in their peer support staff. Um, I think peer support staff encourages honesty. They encourage them to be honest when they're talking about their medication or their side effects. And peer support staff can also help them explore the videos in the library. They can help them complete their worksheets, their mood diaries. Challenges using Common Ground, and I'll, I'll finish up with this. Um, common Ground, th there was initial resistance. This is more work, more time, more effort. These are people that are uh, already have a sufficiently strained schedule. Um, there were equipment difficulties, new computers, you know, learning new passwords, learning how to use air cards, which sometimes. And, and, and the bottom line is, what does this all mean anyway? Well, what it all means is that it's, it's an integration, I think, of having the people we serve embrace their care, their recovery, and, and to help them make their own decisions. And I think there's been, as I said, there's there's a lot of resistance to that. I mean, these are at least people in a community treatment team setting. These are people that may have been in state hospitals for a lot of their lives, and they're just to the doctor coming in, telling them what to do, telling them what to take. And they just look at me like, you want me to answer this? Yes, we do. <laughs> and, we, and we welcome it. So Common Ground, I think, can be a new way of interviewing, a new way of practicing medicine, and, and most important, a new way of involving the people we serve in their care and recovery, and that's the whole point. That is the whole point. Um, <clears throat> I think what has helped is to appoint leaders on each team to support and encourage this, keep, keep track of what we're doing, how well we're doing. And Nancy, of course, has been uh, keeping track through our statistics, which you gives to us all the time, so if we see a drop, like we did when we started with the electronic medical record, we know next month we'll do better. But um, that's, that's been my experience with Common Ground. I think it's a wonderful tool. Um, I believe in it, I embrace it, and I think we can help people recover more fully through the use of it. So I thank you for the time. Thank you.